Thank you. 
प्रदीप गुड मॉर्निंग एम आई ऑडिबल किसी के जी ओके लेट मी चेक हाउ टू सेव माई प्रेजेंटेशन प्रेजेंटेशन को ओपन करूँ हाँ उसको ओपन करिए तो यहाँ पे आ जाएगा इसको ओपन कर ऋषिकेश जी हेलो कैन यू सी द प्रेजेंटेशन ओके ओनली ब्राउजर नॉट प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ ओके विच पेज नंबर वॉट इज रिटर्न देर ओके नाउ टाइप ऑफ इंटलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी ओके ओके नाउ द फ्रंट पेज ना ओके थैंक यू
Okay.
पीछे से आवाज आ रही है एक मिनट में कर रहे स्टार्ट एक मिनट एक मिनट में शुरू कर रहे हैं सर अभी नहीं हुआ आई देखो सेटअप कर रहे हैं अभी आ रही आवाज आ रही आवाज नहीं आ रही अभी हाँ यही आ रहा है यही आ रहा है a very good morning to one and all ha ah, shuru ho gaya well, welcome to another session of the impact lecture series sponsored by ministry of education innovation cell aict new delhi honorable vice president padam shri surinder sharma ji general secretary shri vinod vas ji secretary shri ram babu sharma ji principal professor pail pawa ma'am founder director professor ak tandon sir executive director professor yd god sir guest of the event mr sanjay devra sir dignitaries <coughs> faculty member and my dear students it gives me immense pleasure to host the event and we have with us today mr sanjay devra examiner of patent and design from the ministry of commerce and industry mr sanjay did his btech from nit surat in ece then he worked as a deputy engineer at bhartali electronics limited for 3.5 years currently he is working as an examiner of patent and design 
at indian <coughs> he is responsible for the prior art search and checking the innovation patentability on various technical parameters so on the behalf of iic bpit i would like to welcome you sir sanjay sir hello sanjay sir uh, good morning everyone am i audible good morning, sir. yes sir you are audible over to you sir Uh, thank you so much uh, for the brief introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Director BPIT, IIC head and uh, organizer of this session, Mr. Isikesh Ji, for inviting me to conduct this session. As uh, uh, can you all see the presentation now? Your Wi-Fi connected, I. I hope uh, everyone can see the presentation. Yes, sir. Presentation is visible. Okay. So, um, as uh, as you know, the intellectual uh, today's the topic of the session is the intellectual property rights and patent patent filing. So, if you see the patent filing data of last year, the around seventy thousand patents are filed in India, but uh, around forty uh, percent filing are from the domestic filing. A rest 60% are the international filing because the patents and all the IPR rights are the territorial rights. I will explain all these terms uh, uh, after uh, after this. And uh, if you see that, then uh, you uh, if uh, you see the domestic filing data, then around three to four percent filing is from the uh, domestic institution like higher education institution. So the government uh, government want to increase the you know. Uh, this uh, IP filing data from the Higher Education Institute. So they are organizing various uh, sessions like Ministry, our Ministry, Ministry of Commerce and Industry launch a campaign, NIPEM, National IP Awareness Mission. And as well as the Ministry of Education Innovation Council launched the campaign, Kapila and Impact Lecture Series. Kapila stands for the Kalam IP Awareness uh, Session in which they provide the grant to filing the patent. I will explain the, how much grant the uh, 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 Institute get uh, during the session. So uh, in this session, I will explain what are the intellectual property rights, their important importance, their significance, and why one should file for the intellectual property rights. So as you all know, uh, these are the type of property, immovable property, movable property. So in immovable property, movable property, you can say uh, house, property, uh, house, any flat, automobile. So whenever you purchase any house or flat, so we do the registration in the revenue department. Utka registration hota hai. Why we do the, why we do that so that we can claim our legal right over it. In the similar way, when we purchase any new car, then we go to the RTO and we register that car. So we RCM milta hai. Why we do that so that we can claim our our legal right over it. Hum isko claim kar sakte hai ke, this is my car. So in the similar way, third property is the intellectual property, which is intangible in nature. The first properties which I mentioned, immovable, movable property, they are the tangible in nature. So you can feel, you can measure it. But intellectual property, it's, it is in the intangible in nature, which you can, you cannot feel. But it is the, as the name suggests, intellectual means bodic mind. So any creation of mind which has certain commercial value, they all comes under the intellectual properties. So this is the definition of the intellectual property. Intellectual property refers to the creation of mind such that ideas or expression which have certain commercial value. So what all what all comes in the intellectual property? Any invention, <laughs> any literary, artistic work, design, or symbol, name, image used in the commerce, like any logo of any company. So all these comes under the intellectual properties. Now the question is, what are the type of the intellectual property? First one is the patent. Patent, patent gives the protection of the innovation. Second is the design. Design gives the protection of the outer shape of any product. Like if you take the example of your laptop or mobile, so it's outer shape. How does it look? That comes under the design. Third one is the trademark. Trademark gives the protection of the brand value of any company. Fourth one is the uh, copyright. It gives the protection to the creative work of any individual. the semiconductor integrated circuit layout design so how how the master diode are connected over pcb that also registered under the si sic 
इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी एंड लास्ट वन इज द जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन भौगोलिक संकेत सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल दी इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इन फर्दर स्लाइड एंड इन डेफ आई विल डिस्कस द पैटर्न so if you take the example of the laptop so you can see there are all the ips in a single product so if you see the laptop you see the touch sensor bluetooth technology wifi technology led display all these are the invention whenever they invented they all are the invention so they patent second is the safe of the product uh, safe of the lap laptop so how does it look it outer safe that comes under the industrial design third one is the trademark if you see any laptop you see the logo if it is the hp laptop then a hp ka logo hoga if you see the apple laptop then logo of uh, apple so that comes under the trademark so and uh, whenever you purchase any electronic appliance we get the user manual <coughs> so operate that uh, product it is mentioned method step all are mentioned so uh, if you see that manual then at the end of manual it is mentioned copyright over it so uh, that comes under the copyright so that no other can copy their uh, work and last one is the layout design of ic so if you see the laptop if you open the laptop there is the pcb circuitry so that gives the production under the sicld ipr right so what is the importance and significance of the ipr ipr exclude others from the infringing duplicating your work uh, it protect it protect your work it uh, in intellectual property you can uh, like in intellectual property you get some exclusive rights so that uh, in mon uh, in exclusive right you have the only right you can commercialize it or you can assign your work to someone else so what is the significance of the intellectual property so uh, in uh, intellectual property it is the exclusive rights given to the inventor or creator of that property in order to enable them to reap commercial benefits from their creative efforts so in intellectual property the creator will get the exclusive rights uh, it exclude others from the making using in the invention <coughs> it is the indicator of achievement it is the indicator of achievement like if you see the all the companies now they they mention how many patent they received how much they have the ip portfolio so it, it is the indicator of the achievement it helps the industry to improve the existing technology produce better and cheaper product it provide rewards as a exclusive right for the disclosure like in ipr right you disclose your invention to the indian patent office or ip office then in return you get the reward reward means you get the exclusive right to commercialize it uh, you can make the profit royalty through technology transfer and licensing so in intellectual property like uh, you get some exclusive right so in exclusive right you can say you as a creator you can commercialize it and if you feel that uh, that uh, uh, like in commercialization it required lot of money so you can assign your patent to someone else through technology transfer and you can take some royalty for it so these are the benefits and significance of the intellectual property so what are the utilization of the ipr uh, like i mentioned you can <coughs> you can own use like you got the exclusive rights you can take the decision how to commercialize it second you can license it or assign your rights to someone else license or assign means uh, like you got the patent of any invention then you have the exclusive rights for the 20 year then in 20 year either you can commercialize it if you commercialize it then it comes under the on use either uh, another way is you can assign or license your technology to some other company so that comes under the franchise uh, licensing uh, next is the merchandise like if you uh, see the merchandise example of merchandise if you take the example of any ipl team like rajasthan royals delhi capital so they have the trademark over delhi capital name only promoter can sell the name uh, all the merchandise in the name of delhi capital either promoter can sell or promoter give his rights to someone else they can sell all the merchandise like t-shirt cap etc or whatever the merchandise they can sell it because they have the trademark over it uh, other one is the franchisee franchisee model if you take the example of dominos macdis macdi so they have the trademark over domino name or macda or then uh, in franchisee they can uh, franchisee uh, his uh, they can franchisee domino or macdi to uh, other person so only 
only if the domino or macd creator have that rights they can franchise their work so in in other way by all these way you can earn it you can commercialize your ipr like in common per, common like this is the difference between the common person and businessman uh, nowadays if you see the cv of all the research scholar or the uh, college professors then you will find that uh, along with the research paper they also mentioned how many patents they grown uh, how how many patents they received uh, so it adds some value in their uh, cv so it is a matter of pride for them for all the academician for businessman once they get the ip rights then they can commercialize it they can earn and invest that is the basic difference for the common person and businessman and how they use the ipr rights so uh, now i will discuss uh, all the ip rights first i will start with the patent before i start this session you just if you have any kind of query you just note down i will take the queries two time first after the patent and uh, last at the end of the session so first ip right is the patent patent it is a statutory rights given to the applicants in india patent is granted for the process or product any product or uh, process it will receive the patent and with new and सर स्पीकर शायद लॉग आउट हो गए हैं हम एक बार उनको लॉग इन करवाते हैं सर दोबारा
हेलो अजी
take the legal action so within the territory of india like by your registered patent in india so within the territory of india you will get the legal protection uh, in the similar way if uh, if uh, any company is registered in the india and they are doing business in the other country also so first they registered the patent in india now they are doing business in the europe also us also so in the same time they will register the patent in us also so that if anyone do copy of their invention their work in the us they can take the legal action because the uh, patent is the territorial right so wo jahan pe bhi business kar rahe hain they will file for the patent it is the negative right the meaning of negative right is the meaning of the negative right means you stop other from the making using the selling the invention and monopoly right means it is the exclusive rights given to them for the 20 years so you have the monopoly over your product so now the question is what is the patent like i already mentioned it is the exclusive statutory right given to the applicant by government of india for limited period to exclude others from making using or selling the invention without permission in return to complete disclosure of the invention so what is the meaning of in return to complete disclosure of the invention in patent ke andar kya hota hai aapko kahin pe bhi disclose nahi karna first time you are disclosing your complete invention to the uh, indian patent office and in return you will get the exclusive right agar aapne kahin pe disclose kar diya and it is already in public domain then during the patent examination we do the prior art search to aapne jis date ko फाइल क्या है पेटेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड द प्रायोरिटी डेट एंड बिफोर द प्रायोरिटी डेट वी डू द स्टार्ट सर्च उस डेट से पहले जितना भी पेटेंट लिटरेचर नॉन लिटरेचर जो भी प्रेजेंट उस एप्लीकेंट्स एप्लीकेशन से रिलेटेड जो भी इन्वेंशन या इन्वेंशन से रिलेटेड जो भी इन्वेंशन होगा दैट ऑल कम्स अंडर द प्रायर आर्ट और उसके बेसिस पे पेटेंट ग्रांट होता है या रिजेक्ट होता है सो so, आपको कहीं डिस्क्लोज नहीं करना है फर्स्ट यू फाइल फॉर द पेटेंट Uh, actually, what happened in uh, there is a concept uh, many research scholar unknowingly do like uh, first they publish their work. उनको paper publish करना होता है they first publish their work then the same invention जो भी उनका research work होता है they file for the patent. तो आपने जब patent file किया it already in public domain. आपने publish किया है वो आपके नाम पे publish है but it is in public domain. So your जो public uh, जो भी work है your publication that come consider as a patent and you won't. Uh, consider as a prior art and you won't get the patent so what is the criteria for the obtaining patent so uh, given for the uh, in india the patent is given for the product or process any product we give any uh, as per indian patent act we give the uh, patent for the any product or process like kisi product ko banane ke liye method a bhi ho sakta hai b bhi ho sakta hai c bhi ho sakta hai all three process step are patentable so what are the condition for the patent first one is the novelty novelty any product or process having the unique feature any new feature usme kuch new hai second inventive step product and process have technological advancement over existing technology or economic significance or both or non obvious so inventive step ka meaning ye ho gaya ki product and process mein like existing technology hai and you are doing some technical aapke invention mein some technical advancement hai so that comes under the inventive concept inventive step next one is the industrial applicability industrial applicability means product and process have industrial application application means so you can commercialize it aapne koi product invent kiya aapne patent register kiya then aap uske multiple copies multiple product aap market mein sell kar pa rahe ho that comes under the industrial applicability so if anyone is filing the patent so he should always check these three condition novelty inventive step and industrial applicability these are the example of the patent uh first one is the telephone uh by the it is invented by the alexander graham bell and uh, us registration of patent number is mentioned here next one is the bluetooth technology it is also registered patent next one is the example of the led bells jing bells like if you see before 2014 15 jo bhi bells hoti thi normal bells use hoti thi before 14 15 these led bells are used now you just see, check these three criteria it is the it this led bells have some unique feature iske andar koi new feature hai in the similar way it has some technical advancement over existing technology existing technology kya thi jo normal bells hote the aur technical advancement kya ho gaya ki whenever any ball touch this uh, uh, the, the bells then it will blink so ye technical advancement aur industrial applicability you can see aaj jahan jitne bhi product use ho rahe hain uh, jahan pe bhi cricket ground pe bells use ho rahe use ho rahe hain they are using led bells so this satisfy the these three criteria patentability criteria and it is a registered patent 
So a uh, few invention are not patentable as per Indian Patent Act. First one is the frivolous and contradicting well-established law. So what is the meaning of fri frivolous or contradicting well-established law? Uh, any time machine, like any person did any invention on the related to time machine. But it is a uh, time machine where you can't go in the past. This is well-established law. You can't go in the past. So these type of invention are not patentable. Invention against public order or morality. Like uh, uh, anyone did the invention, any high-tech invention, how to do the theft. Who has a product invent that they do the same thing. So that is against the public order or morality that are not patentable. Next one is the scientific principle and abstract theory. So any scientific principle and abstract theory that are not patentable, the statement of scientific principle ke, that are not patentable. Discovery of new form of non-substance which does not in the enhancement of the non-efficacy. So discovery of non uh, of a new form of non-substance which does not enhancement of non-efficacy. So कोई भी non-substance है उसकी कोई discovery की है और उसको mix करके भी आपने कोई new new substance बना लिया but इसकी कोई efficacy improve नहीं हो रही कुछ efficiency improve नहीं हो रही that are not patentable. Mirror add mixer like already कुछ mixer है उसको दो mixer को मिला के आपने third mixer third substance बना लिया but it does not have some technical advancement कुछ efficiency improve नहीं हो रही efficacy improve नहीं हो रही है that are not patentable. Mere arrangement or rearrangement. The method of agriculture or horticulture. Any diagnostic method or surgical method. Any diagnostic method or surgical method are not patentable. As I mentioned, the uh, patents are the territorial right. So, every country has a patent law different. Hai. Like diagnostic or surgical method get the patent in the US, in Europe. In developed country, they get the patent. But in India, we don't allow the diagnostic method or surgical method as a patent. Plant and animal in whole or any part. Mathematical and business method. Software per se or algorithm. Software per se, the meaning of this statement is the like any computer code. If any computer code is there, that is not patentable. If computer code is executed in some hardware and that hardware has some technical advancement, then it is patentable. So only algorithm, only statement, it, statements are not patentable. They come under the Copyright, literary, musical, or artistic work that are not patentable. A mere scheme or method of playing games, games, various games, जो भी games खेलने हैं, that are not patentable. Presentation of information, integrated circuit, integrated circuit are protected under the SICLD. Traditional knowledge, traditional knowledge means uh, like uh, like we all know, healthy have some antiseptic properties. So this kind of traditional knowledge are not uh, patentable. Atomic energy means any uh, some uh, uranium, uranium, titanium. These kind of material have some atomic energy property. So anyone doing the research work on this material and file for the patent, then they are, they are not patentable. So in India, who can file the patent? So any person claiming to be true and first inventor. So anyone is doing his work. He can file either alone or jointly. Sometimes what happens, so be research work hota hai, three, four people jointly do the work, so they all can file for the patent. Second, any person being assignee of the person claiming to be true or first inventor. Then uh, the meaning of this statement, like uh, like any person did any invention, then he assigned he right, rights to some company. Like, uh, like if I give the example, uh, Qualcomm is the company and uh, R&D section of Qualcomm is doing some research work and they come up with, with, with one in, innovation. Then the inventor is that employee, but uh, all the companies have a strict IPR policy. Applicant will be the Qualcomm only. There is a difference between the applicant and the um, uh, inventor. Joby patent ke rights hote hai, all stay with the applicant only. Joby 20 year ke rights hote hai, commercialization ke rights hote hai, they all stay with the Applicants only. Inventor. So generally, kya hota hai? Jo bhi MNC company hoti hai, they assign. Jo bhi works hota hai, kyunki uh, patents, you will get the exclusive right for the 20 year for commercialization. Jo unke employee hota hai, they don't stay in same company for 20 years. Wo aapke 4-5 years se, they will switch to another company. But jo patent jo mil gaya hai, wo always stay with Qualcomm only. By the legal representative of any deceased person who can immediately before his death is entitled to make such an application. 
so sometimes what happen uh, research work is the long process it take one to two year or during that work uh, anyone unfortunately expired so uska jo legal representative hole uh, anyone his legal representative can file the for the patent so what are the forms required for the patent filing first one is the form 1 form 1 consists the detail of application applicant applicant fees need to be paid so this is the format of the form 1 so in this you mention the applicant inventor detail their nationality their address address of service address of service uh, means kahan se ye filing kar raha hai generally if as a uh, inventor directly file kar raha hai to he will mention his address sometime what happen they take the services of patent agent then patent agent will mention their address of correspondence because he is dealing all the paperwork these are various uh, declaration so this is the format of the form 1 next is the form 2 form 2 it consists the detail of invention like title background of invention particular of drawing brief description of drawing claim abstract drawing etc so all these detail are mentioned in form 2 so this is the format of the form 2 form 2 form 2 as a title of invention jo bhi aapne invention ka patent file kiya hai you will mention the title then applicant name nationality address uh, and the specification is provisional or complete there is a difference between the provisional and complete i will explain further what is the difference between them these basic detail this is the first page and second page onward you can mention the summary of your invention background of invention title of uh, uh, drawing claim abstract etc so all these are mentioned in the form 2 next one is the form form 3 form 3 uh, details of foreign filing of similar invention like i mentioned uh, patent is the territorial right so aapne india mein work uh, patent file kar diya and you want to you are doing business in some other country or you want want the legal protection in that country also then it is required to file the patent in that country also so in that case you will inform the indian patent office some maine india ke alawa aur kin kin country mein file kiya hai all these details are mentioned in the form 3 form 5 declaration as to inventorship declaration of inventorship like i mentioned applicant uh, applicant and inventor 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 assign his all rights to the applicant so that declaration who is the inventor who is the applicant that mentioned in the form 5 form 18 request for examination in india we have the deferred examination system what is the meaning of this statement like uh, <clears throat> once you file for the patent it doesn't mean indian patent office directly will examine you have to make the request for the examination actually what happen uh, sometime what happen they are during the process they file for the patent and uh, during the process they uh, they find it is not uh, uh, worth to file for the uh, file for the patent aapka invention itna worth nahi hai you can't do the commercialization तो वो पेटेंट आगे प्रोसीड नहीं करते हैं देन उसका एग्जामिनेशन नहीं होगा तो दिस यू हैव टू मेक द रिक्वेस्ट सो हाउ टू मेक द रिक्वेस्ट फॉर्म एटीन और यू हैव टू मेक द रिक्वेस्ट विद इन फोर्टी एट मंथ फ्रॉम द अर्लीस्ट प्रायोरिटी डेट और फाइलिंग डेट विद इन फोर्टी एट मंथ यू नीड टू रिक्वायर द फाइल इफ यू डोंट फाइल देन एप्लीकेशन डीम टू बी विद्रॉन मीन्स वो विद्रॉ कर ली गई है एप्लीकेट के द्वारा इस तरह से कंसिडर किया जाएगा these are the various form which i explained form 1 form 2 form 3 form 3 you will mention foreign filing detail name of the country aapne kahan ka patent file kiya hai their status date of application application number etc form 5 declaration of inventorship what who is the applicant who is the inventor then name address and declaration now the type of patent application first one is the ordinary patent application ordinary patent application means if uh, uh, anyone filing the patent first time filing the patent application in particular country like india mein kisi any person did the invention and he is filing his patent application in india so that consider as a pat ordinary patent application uh, like i mentioned the patents are the territorial rights so aap foreign countries mein bhi file karte hain so there are two way to file the foreign filing foreign patent filing first one is the convention application second is the pct national phase application what is the difference between the convention and pct national phase in convention in convention in uh, in in convention application you will get the 12 month time in 12 month time from the date of priority uh, within 12 month you can file to the in any other country and uh, in convention like as a fresh patent application you need to require all the forms 
वहां की कंट्री की क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है जो भी रिक्वायरमेंट है यू नीड टू डू द पेपर वर्क फ्रॉम ऑल दी फ्रॉम दी स्क्रेच बट टू मेक दिस प्रोसेस स्मूथर इंटरनेशनल फाइलिंग के प्रोसेस स्मूथ करने के लिए द नेक्स्ट पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन इज द पीसीटी नेशनल फीस एप्लीकेशन इन दिस इट रिक्वायर थर्टी वन मंथ फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ प्रायोरिटी से थर्टी वन मंथ के अंदर यू कैन फाइल इन एनी अदर कंट्री एंड इन दिस पेपर वर्क इज रिड्यूस ये दिस इज द न्यू कंसेप्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज द डिविजनल एप्लीकेशन डिविजनल एप्लीकेशन डिविजनल एप्लीकेशन एज द नेम सजेस्ट डिविजन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन लाइक एज पर इंडियन पेटेंट एक्ट वन पेटेंट सिंगल इन्वेंटिव कंसेप्ट सिंगल इन्वेंटिव कंसेप्ट मीन्स एक पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन में एक इन्वेंशन ही होगा तो समटाइम वॉट हैपन वेन द एप्लीकेट फाइल फाइल फॉर द पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन देन देर आर टू टू इन्वेंशन इन ए सिंगल एप्लीकेशन then on examiner objection or suo moto means he he himself find that there are two invention then he can make the division of application so he filed the second application that uh, count as a divisional application next one is the patent of addition as the name suggest you are adding something from the existing jo uh, apne first application file ki hai the same application has some uh, incremental kuch advancement karke aap ek aur uh, file kar rahe hain that comes under the patent of addition so these are the type of patent application like in form 2 i mentioned there are two type of specification first one is the provisional specification second is the complete specification uh, what is the difference between the provisional specification uh, like uh, i said uh, in provisional specification you will uh, mention only basic details about the uh, about your invention summary of your invention and you once you file you will get the priority so uh, and within 12 month you you need you require to file for the complete specification so actually kya hota hai ki once uh, aap koi kisi ka patent file karna chahte ho then uh, it take the time aap koi research work karo it take 5 to 6 to 12 month but you get the idea then you file for the provisional application usme you mentioned all the summary of your, your invention and you get the date of priority this date ko file kiya hai date of priority is very important because from the date of priority uh, patent jo bhi examiner whenever he do the search तो उस डेट से पहले के ही लिटरेचर और नॉन लिटरेचर उस एग्जामिनेशन उस एप्लीकेशन के रिगार्डिंग सर्च करेगा सो यू विल गेट सम ट्वेल्व मंथ एक्स्ट्रा फॉर द फाइलिंग द कंप्लीट स्पेसिफिकेशन सो व्हाट इज द प्रोविजनल स्पेसिफिकेशन इट शुड डिस्क्राइब द नेचर ऑफ इन्वेंशन एंड कंटेन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ एसेंशियल फीचर ऑफ इन्वेंशन नो नीड टू इंक्लूड क्लेम्स एंड डिटेल्स ऑफ द मैनर इन विच इट टू बी परफॉर्म What are the advantage of the provisional specification? Priority of invention. आपको priority उस date की मिल गई जिस date को आपने provisional file किया है. No risk of losing the priority. Liberty to develop means you get the 12 month. उस duration में आप further उसमें जो भी इसमें develop कर सकते हैं आपका product है, you can do it. Disclose to interested person to obtain the financial support. Once you get the priority, now you can disclose your invention to anyone because जब भी पेटेंट एग्जामिनेशन होगा उस डेट से पहले का ही सर्च होगा सो so, आपको फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंट चाहिए ग्रांट चाहिए देन यू कैन डिस्कस विद एनीवन। अगर वो किसी से आपने डिस्कस किया एंड ही फाइल दैट सेम आइडिया इन हिज नेम तो उसको पेटेंट नहीं मिलेगा बिकॉज यू हैव द डेट ऑफ प्रायोरिटी उस डेट से पहले की डेट ऑफ प्रायोरिटी है इट वर्चुअली एक्सटेंड दर्म इट यूटिलाईज फॉर द एक्सप्लोरिंग कमर्शियल फिजिबिलिटी एवॉइड इनकरिंग फॉर दर एक्सपेंसिस इफ नो नो कमर्शियल पॉसिबिलिटी The meaning of this statement actually what happened आपने provisional specification file कर दिया then uh, during the सिक्स ट्वेल्व मंथ आपको रियलाइज हुआ नो इट इज नॉट वर्थ टू मूव फॉरवर्ड वीक मीन्स कोई वर्थ नहीं है यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू कमर्शलाइज योर इन्वेंशन ये कोई प्रोडक्ट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टेड है देन तो आप यू वॉन्ट फाइल द कंप्लीट स्पेसिफिकेशन नो नीड टू पे द फीस जो भी फाइनेंशियल लॉसेज हो रहे हैं उसको अवॉइड कर सकते हैं so what is the complete specification as name suggest complete everything about the uh, about your invention so it mention the title of invention field of invention background of invention background of invention like uh, i mentioned uh you you mention technical advancement or existing technology so uh, in background you will mention what are the existing technology all the invention and what extra feature your invention has advantages and uses of the invention detailed description with drawing and example claims abstract all these things are mentioned in the uh, complete specification claims are very important claims ke andar whenever uh, you take the legal action or some uh, uh, if you take 
legal action on any person, then uh, in court case, the uh, judge always check the claim. आपने क्या क्लेम किया है और वो पर्सन उसको कॉपी कर रहा है क्या इफ ही इज डूइंग द कॉपी देन ही विल टेक द लीगल एक्शन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट ब्रीफ अबाउट योर इन्वेंशन फुल्ली एंड पर्टिकुलरली डिस्क्राइब द इन्वेंशन डिस्क्लोज द बेस्ट मेथड मींस इट फुल्ली और पर्टिकुलरली डिस्क्राइब द इन्वेंशन और बेस्ट मेथड जो भी मेथड है उसका बेस्ट इट इट शुड बी मेंशन इन द कंप्लीट कंप्लीट स्पेसिफिकेशन सो व्हाट इज द पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेसिंग सो स्टेप्स फॉर from filing to grant of patent first you conceptualization and invention then you file for the application file there are two way either you can file for the provisional specification or complete specification uh, provisional specification you will get a filing complete specification within 12 month you you got some 12 month extra in both way either you file complete specification or after 12 month you file the complete specification then after that uh, uh, Indian Patent Office will publish your application. So after publication, you have to make the request for the examination within 48 month. Then examination for patentability and other requirement. So after patent file कर दिया इसका publication हो गया यानि you requested then uh, Indian Patent Office examine your application. In during the examination, he will search the prior art and he will put some objection, formal objection and technical objection. In technical objection, he mentioned that uh, you are claiming this invention, but this invention is already existed and he will quote some uh, quote the publication of that uh, uh, literature then issuance of fr means after that the patent office will issue that fr in which all these objection are mentioned formal and technical formal objection are the agar aapko format mein if there is any issue then all these uh, things are mentioned in the formal objection then after the issuance of uh, fr you will get the 6 month during the 6 month you have to uh, reply uh, reply the all the objection If you are not filing the reply in the six month, then application is abandoned. Means you won't get the patent. Uh, patent. And if you file the uh, reply in the six month, then again the Indian Patent Office will re-examine the amended document. So during the re-examination, the patent examiner will find there are some certain objection. Still, uh, uh, he is find this. Uh, they want they uh, they object that invention. Then there is a. Uh, option of video conferencing hearing under section 14 is offered to the applicant in hearing there is a option of video conference in video conferencing uh, patent examiner uh, patent controller will mention all the objection and if objection are removed then application will be granted under 43 means granted means that applicant will be get the patent if objection are sustained like a controller is not satisfied with, satisfied with uh, patent application and uh, then the you won't get the patent so next is the jurisdiction for the filing so what is the jurisdiction uh, there are uh, four patent office mumbai chennai new delhi and kolkata uh, each office have a territorial jurisdiction like new delhi have the delhi haryana himachal pradesh jammu kashmir punjab rajasthan uttar pradesh and chandigarh so any one from these area are filing the patent office uh, patent application through online mode or offline mode these or all required to file in the indian uh, new delhi indian patent office new delhi patent office only reason reason ye hota hai ki aapko aap is particular area mein reh rahe ho to is the territory is comes under the territorial jurisdiction of the new delhi but after once you file the file the patent application all the uh, patent office are virtually interlinked interlinked so means uh, you file the patent office in a new delhi patent office but anyone can do the examination what chennai ka patent examiner can do the examination because at the end there is option of video conferencing kyunki pehle to physical meeting hoti thi but now the only uh, video conferencing is there so anyone can do the examination or koi bhi issue hota hai there is option of video conferencing so this is the fees of a patent application for any natural person Start up small entity or educational institute. The filing fees is the fifty six hundred. Form one is the sixteen hundred, and form eighteen. This is the form for the request for examination. Filing fees is the four thousand rupee. So total fees is the fifty six hundred, <coughs> and this complete fees is the uh, uh, is uh, institute educational institute get the grant under the Kapila scheme. Uh, for the any company other than natural person or uh, any company, this filing fees is the twenty eight thousand. now the kapila kapila uh, what is the kapila kapila kalam program for ip literacy and awareness is a scheme that provide financial assistance 
to the institution that are part of higher education institution for filing patent so higher education mein patent filing ko increase karne ke liye financial assistance is given by the ministry of education innovation cell and uh, financial assistance is the 5600 rupee per patent file and as you see the filing fees is the 5600 rupee only so complete patent filing fees is the reimbursed and uh, uh, per institute there are uh, 50 total 56 1000 rupee financial assistance is given by the moe innovation cell so total 10 patent application uh, any institute can file and you will get the financial uh, financial assistance so what is the aim of the kapila kapila initiative aims to create appropriate awareness regarding the need of ip filing mechanism or methodology involved in filing ip in india globally especially among among the student and faculty of higher education institution so uh, this is the kapila scheme brief about kapila scheme now the government of india recently taken the various steps so first they reduced the educational institution fees 80% like uh, before 2 3 year the educational institution are considered as a company to unke liye agar koi educational institute uh, patent file kar raha hai they need to pay the 28000 rupees but now this fees is drastically reduced uh, now the uh, these uh, educational institute are considered as a individual person and their filing fees is the 5600 rupees next there is a concept of uh, so sometime what happen the applicant uh, unko jaldi patent chahiye so there are option of expedite examination expedite examination mein kya hota hai ki unka examination jaise hi aap file karte ho expedite examination ke liye the within one month you will get the reply so who can file for the expedite examination any startup sme female applicant government department institution established by the central provincial or state act government company institution wholly or substantially financed by the government so all these uh, startup sme etc they can opt for the expedite examination if they want early patents so this kind of certificate uh, individual gets uh, or any company get once uh, their patent is granted and if anyone uh, want more literature on patent they can visit this website ipindiaservices.government.in so before i start for the uh, next ip right design uh, if anyone have any doubt regarding uh, patent they can ask me anyone regarding the patent filing what is the patent what is the do international filing anyone have any kind of doubt regarding patent filing they can ask me uh, uh, achal ma'am please ask me please unmute unmute yourself okay uh, sir i have a doubt uh, because you have explained something about the provisional specification yes but you didn't tell us about the costing that is going to be there because i mean uh, they, this is going to be two phase step now so what would be the cost that is to be incurred by the institution in this regard sir can you repeat actually voice is intermittent can you repeat your question okay sir uh, i'm just asking that there was something about provisional specification right Yes, yes. Which one can apply for now. Hmm. Uh, what would be the cost for that? Because it is going to be in addition to the normal filing in uh, in due course of time. No, no, no. The uh, provisional specification, complete specification. The combined fees is the that uh, form two. If it is exceeding thirty page or ten claim extra, then it it is required to the pay pay the fee. Otherwise, no need to pay the extra fee. in starting like if you are filing the provisional specification then along with provisional specification you will fi file the form 1 in which you mention the details of your uh, name address of service and you you need to pay the 1600 rupee only so the, during the complete specification no need to pay the extra fee okay so to total amount that was going to be remain the 5, same 600, but it is 5600 only no need so to pay the extra fee it is going to be paid upfront sir Uh, do, do we require to pay it up front sir at the at the time of filing you require to pay 1600 only that is the filing fees is the form 1 form 2 there is no need to pay the fee if uh, there are uh, 30 pages or 10 claim if you are exceeding these criteria then you need to pay either provisional or specific complete specification 
then when you are requesting for examination form 18 then uh, 4000 rup uh, rupee that is the fees okay so second question is uh, if uh, if you said that okay we uh, somebody wants to make changes uh, to the claim or to the patent yes right they can they can uh, they can apply for that so in that case it would again going to be a fresh i guess application right during change means during this com provisional to complete specification phase no i mean uh, uh, let me say that i have applied for one patent and yes. now i want to make uh, changes to that i mean i want to make some alteration some addition yes, to that yes yes yeah that is the separate patent application you need to pay a complete extra fee okay okay and is there any provision of alteration like uh, i have one patent uh, which uh, which has say three uh, applicant or say two applicant and uh, two inventor and now i want to make change because there is some some idea has been given or something like that so is there any provision of making yes. alteration to the right you can add the inventor you can change the name of applicant there are various forms form 6 form 13 there are various forms you okay. there is a small fee required to pay along with the form and you can change the if you want to add like in in the starting phase when you file the patent there are two inventor but during the course you are there someone else join and now three inventor then you can change the add that inventor name as well okay so generally how much it costs sir um to check form six form six there is a fee of form six uh, for individual it's a very much uh, like a thousand to two thousand rupee i need to check i'm not sure okay actually actually point is that like uh, once uh, somebody applied for it so yes. there were few people who were working on it now once we want to go for say implementation or say uh, we want to go for uh, evaluation then we realize that we need more help so it generally happens that uh, in our case we have students who are working on a particular project they were from the final year and now they have passed out and let me uh, give that project to the subsequent year student so we would like to add their names so that they should have their contribution mm -hmm. so uh, right i mean this then, was the uh, then using form 6 you can add the name and uh, means it means how many time you will file the form 6 it depend fees depend on it how many names are included don't depend on it okay okay right like if you if you one time you add one one person name then you file for the form 6 there is a fees for the form 6 now after one month you are again add the name then you are again filing the form 6 then again you right. need to pay the right thank you thank you sir thank you hmm. anyone else Okay, uh, now, uh, now next IP right is the design. Uh, everyone can see this slide design. What are the design? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay, so what is the next IP right is the design. So design gives the protection for the feature of 2D or 3D safe or pattern. It gives the protection is for the aesthetic aspect or outward appearance. Means how does that product look? Design ka ye simple hai, how does that product look? If you take the example of mobile, you take the example of laptop, desktop, the outer shape, how does it look? That comes under the industrial design. Uh, protection is for protection is not for the working principle. Like I mentioned, design gives the protection for the outer shape. How does it look? Working principle ke liye, uh, protection nahi milta hai. Next, uh, uh, like patent the term for protection is the 20 year. In the similar way, term for protection is the design is the 10 year. And uh, after renewal, you can extend for the five year. So total term for protection for the industrial design is the 15 year. So this is the example of the industrial design. So what happened if you take the example of any automobile company? So whenever they launch any new car, so they, have a design. they registered their design uh, in uh, intellectual property office so that no other company can copy that design. So you will see all the jitte bhi cars hoti hai, they have some different designs hota hai. Bilkul, kuch no kuch minor changes hota hai. So that is the purpose of the design. So what is the importance of design? Help the consumer to recognize any product. It makes a long lasting effect on the consumer mind. It adds value to the product and help in gaining fair returns on the investment. 
in order to protect a design from infringement it is necessary to get it registered under design act 2000 design registration prevent duplication of the product design registration create unique selling point and protect look and look and feel the product so these are uh, are the example of the design which are registered now uh, design of a set of article like it's individual product ka bhi design register hota hai set of article ke bhi register hota hai like you take the example of this jewelry so is complete jewelry set ka bhi design registered hota hai set means a number of article of the same general character ordinarily sold together or intended to be used together all bearing the same design so like i mentioned in patent there are few invention which are not patentable in the similar way few design are not registered uh, first one is the sign emblem or flag of any country mere change in the size of any article structure and building layout design of integrated circuit any principle or mode of construction of any article such as label token cartoon card etc book calendar certificate jacket forms other document greeting cards maps plan cards uh, plain cards postcard leaflet stamp medal dress making pattern works of alteration of component of an assembly parts of any article which is not manufactured or sold separately these are some example which uh, design are not registrable register design are not registered so the fees for the design application for the natural person natural person means as a individual like you are filing any application in your name that is the meaning of the natural person startup or small entity the filing fees for the industrial design is the 1000 rupee for established company big companies the filing fees is the 4000 rupee and the renewal fee like i mentioned the term for protection design is a 10 year and after 10 year it is required for the renewal then the filing uh, if you are extending term for 5 year then the filing fees for the 2000 for the natural person startup and 8000 for the other person so next ip right is the trademark trademark uh, trademark is any word name symbol or device or any combination thereof it identifies or distinguishes the source of goods or service of one trader from the from those of other what is the importance of trademark it provide exclusive monopoly or over a class of goods or service it allows a business entity to build a public goodwill goodwill and brand reputation it identifies the source and origin of goods or services it assure customers about quality of goods or services if i take the example of bisleri bottle you will find the bisleri bottle in railway station bus stand but uh, kya hota hai ki you find many fake product of bisleri jisme wo kuch spelling change kar dete hain you will come across this kind of product on the bus station or railway station now what happened original bisleri company have a trademark over it once they have a trademark if that company have a registered trademark then they can take the legal action over other company jo unke naam par minor changes karke market mein sell kar they can take the legal action they can recover all the losses in the similar way if you take the example of the shoes nike reebok inke bhi first copy market mein sell hote hain jisme wo minor modification changes karte the unke logo mein minor sa change kar lete hain unka jo wording hote hain usme minor sa change kar dete hain then they sell and all these products are they these company have a registered trademark if they have the registered trademark then they can take the legal action if they don't have a registered trademark then they they can't do anything they can't take the legal action so it is always advised to all the businessmen to register their trademark because once you start any startup they don't know within one two year five year it will successful your startup will become successful so once it becomes successful anyone can copy fir aapko kya hai ki india mein jugad wala hota hai usi ka naam se minus changes karke they can uh, sell in your name so aapko usse business mein loss hoga so once you have a registered trademark then you can take the legal action if you don't have a registered trademark you can't take the legal action aap uska kuch nahi kar sakte wo apna fir business chalayega so what is the subject matter of trademark trademark including service marks trade name collective marks certification mark tagline like web ca ye dil mango more these are the tagline uh, now the domain name are the also registered under the trademark nowadays if you see the many uh, person are doing business online wo apna ek unka website hota hai they are doing business online to wo website unhone unka jo domain name hai unhone trademark pe register nahi karwa sakta karwa rakha hai to someone usi domain name se minor changes only one letter they will change and they launch one new website and they list all the same product on them to fir as a customer kabhi kabhi aap wo us wali website pe chale jaoge then it 
इट इंकर दॉसेज ओरिजिनल जो वेबसाइट है उनको लॉसेज होंगे बिजनेस के लॉसेज तो हाउ हाउ विल ही डू ही विल टेक द लीगल एक्शन सो हिज डोमेन नेम इज रिक्वायर टू रजिस्टर अंडर द ट्रेडमार्क एक बार उन्होंने रजिस्ट्रेशन करवा दिया ट्रेडमार्क में देन दे कैन टेक द लीगल एक्शन सो हाउ टू इंडिकेट योर ट्रेडमार्क इफ यू सी ऑल द प्रोडक्ट उसमें दीज टू टाइप ऑफ लोगो वन इज द आर देन कंप्लीट सर्कल एंड सेकेंड वन इज द टी एम वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम आर एंड कंप्लीट सर्कल दैट इज द मीनिंग दैट प्रोडक्ट है रजिस्टर्ड ट्रेडमार्क उन्होंने रजिस्ट्रेशन के लिए ट्रेडमार्क अप्लाई किया एंड दे गेट द रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड टी एम मीनिंग मीन्स दैट कंपनी इज क्लेमिंग दैट दे है ट्रेडमार्क उन्होंने ऑफिस से इंडियन ट्रेडमार्क ऑफिस से रजिस्ट्रेशन नहीं कराया बट दे आर क्लेमिंग इधर दे आर क्लेमिंग और समटाइम वॉट एपन दे अप्लाइड फॉर द ट्रेडमार्क बट इट इज अंडर प्रोसेस बिकॉज इट यूजली टेक वन टू टू ईयर फॉर द ट्रेडमार्क रजिस्ट्रेशन सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टी एम एंड आर सो वॉट इज द फाइलिंग फीस फॉर द ट्रेडमार्क for the startup small entity msme the filing fees is the 4500 and other than natural person the filing fees is the 9000 rupees now the as i mentioned the term for protection is for the patent is the 20 year design 10 plus 5 year so in the similar way term for protection is the trademark is the indefinite period iska koi time period nahi hai because aapki koi company hai to jab tak aap ho तब तक वो कंपनी रहेगी इफ इफ इट इफ दर कंपनी डूइंग गुड बिजनेस तो वो हंड्रेड ईयर टू हंड्रेड ईयर जब तक वो कंपनी एस्टेब्लिश है जब तक लॉसेज नहीं हो रहे तब तक वो कंपनी रहेगी तो उनका जो लोगो होता है दैट उसका कोई टाइम पीरियड नहीं होता है तो ट्रेडमार्क का देर इज नथिंग लाइक टाइम पीरियड इनडेफिनेट पीरियड के लिए रजिस्ट्रेशन होता है नेक्स्ट वन आईपी राइट इज द कॉपी राइट सो कॉपी राइट इज द बंडल ऑफ राइट इट इज ऑटोमेटिक ऑटोमेटिक राइट मीन्स लाइक इससे पहले जितने भी मैंने बताया ट्रेडमार्क डिजाइन पेटेंट इन सब का रजिस्ट्रेशन इज मैंडेटरी आप रजिस्ट्रेशन करोगे देन यू कैन क्लेम योर लीगल राइट इन कॉपी राइट यू कांट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू रजिस्टर फॉर द कॉपी राइट बट इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइज टू एडवाइज टू डू द कॉपी राइट रजिस्ट्रेशन रीजन अगर समवन इज डूंग लाइक यू रॉट एनी बुक और किसी ने कॉपी करके वो मार्केट में सेल कर रहा है और आपका उस कॉपी राइट रजिस्ट्रेशन नहीं है देन यू यू विल गो टू द कोर्ट एंड हाउ विल यू प्रूव दिस इज माई क्रिएटिव वर्क then if you have a copyright certificate then with only wo ek certificate so karoge and you can prove otherwise it's up to you how how to prove that this is my work this is the exclusive right given to creator of original work of authorship it allow the owner to choose the way his or his her copyrighted work are made available to the public uh, prevent unauthorized copying and reproduction so copyright can protect cannot protect the idea so subject matter of copyright any literary work any book etc any literary work that comes under the uh, under the copyright artistic work artistic work mean painting etc dramatic work musical work sound recording work cinematography films all these comes under the copyright so if i take the example uh, there are uh, south ki movie ki dub hoti hai hindi ke andar bollywood movie they make the dub movie it is not they directly make the movie first they go to the south the movie director or producer they uh, because they have the copyright over it they go there they 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 discuss that we want to make the movie and fir do unke mutual agreed term they will uh, share some profit jo bhi hoga jo unka mutually agreement hoga then after that only they can start uh, making the movie in the bollywood so because इट इज ओनली पॉसिबल अगर उन्होंने इस तरह से डिस्कशन नहीं किया है कोई रॉयल्टी सैड नहीं किया है वंस द मूवी विल बी रिलीज देन ही विल क्लेम दिस मूवी आई हैव द कॉपीराइट इट और फिर वो लीगल एक्शन लेंगे देन यू हैव टू पे द फी सो इन द बोथ वे पे करना है राइट्स ऑफ ऑथर्स ऑफ कॉपीराइटेड कॉपीराइटेड वर्क कॉपीराइट इकोनॉमिक राइट्स एंड मॉरल राइट इकोनॉमिक राइट्स आर द ट्रांसफरेबल राइट मे बी असाइन टू अदर ऑनर्स फॉर ए सम ऑफ मनी और रॉयल्टी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्रपोज यूजेज ऑफ वर्क means economic right means aapka koi work hai you can uh, transfer your uh, rights to someone else a moral right non transferable in nature they always remain with the original author so what is the filing fees for the copyright for literary dramatic artistic musical work filing fees is the 500 rupees artistic work filing fees is the 2000 rupees sound recording work 2000 rupees or for cinematography films the fi filing fees is the 5000 rupees next ip right is the siclt semiconductor integrated circuit layout design so uh, sic means product having transistor and other circuitry element inseparably formed on 
or inside a semiconductor or insulating material designed to perform an electronics circuitry function. Integral part of every computer chip, very large scale VLSI chip. Layout design means layout of a transistor and other circuitry element and include includes lead wires connecting such element expressed in a manner in a SIC. So how the, this diode and transistor are connected over a PCB circuit that comes under the SICLD. These are some example of the SICLD. So some important point of the SICLD. SICLD is an important IPR for a production of product with fast changing technology such as electronic gadget, computer, etc. Criteria for SICLD registration is original, distinctive, uh, being distinguishable <coughs> from other layout design not commercially exploited. Semiconductor integrated circuit layout design registry is the office where the application on layout design of integrated circuit are filed for registration of created IPR. So next and last IP right is the geographical indication. What is the geographical indication? In Hindi, it's called Bhogolik Sanket. So uh, GI is the sign used on a product that have specific geographical origin and possess certain qualities on reputation that are due to that origin. So, uh, like if I take the example of Darjeeling tea and Kashmir saffron, Darjeeling tea mein kya hota hai? due to their geography, wahan pe kuch hai, wahan ki geo, according to their weather and geography, they, they, they produce very excellent tea. So, us, us particular area ki uh, economy ko promote karne ke liye, uh, government ne unko GI tag provide kya hai. It states that particular product belong to particular place the qualities depends on the geographical place of production there is a link between product and its original place of production like before gi tech i discuss all the ip rights they are individual rights wo as a kisi company ke honge ya kisi individual ke honge but gi tech is the community rights ek particular area mein koi cheez famous hai due to its geography so us particular area us product ko promote karne ke liye in the similar uh, at the same time wahan kis local area ke economy ko promote karne ke liye gi tech the government of india provide karti hai <coughs> Example is the Darjeeling tea. It granted primarily to a and food and agriculture product, natural goods, a manufactured handicraft product originating from a definite geographical territory. Example is the Katputli of Rajasthan, Kashmir saffron, Darjeeling tea. These are some examples in the GI tag mill. Darjeeling tea, uh, Makrana marble, Ratlami sev, Kanchipuram silk, they all have registered GI tag. So who can apply for the GI tag? Any association of person, producer, organization, authority established by the law. Importance of the GI, fair competition, market recognition, premium price. Means uh, premium price means any whose particular area ki wo cheez se famous famous hai to uska premium anyone. Agar aapko pata chale ke, uh, this is the original product, so anyone ready to pay the premium for that? R rural development, protection of knowledge and community rights. So, uh, as you know, IP is everywhere. Uh, you see this video? Yeah. Just a minute. There is a video. it is not opening actually uh, the point is uh, like if you start your day you come across many companies aap jo bhi product use karte hain they have the registered trademark bahut se product use karte hain they have a gi tag you come across the many invention jo bhi existing uh, invention hai they they all are protected under the patent then the design jo bhi product use karte hain they have some cf they uh, their pattern so they all get the protection under the design so you can find that ip is everywhere so uh, there are few points uh, individual required to remember. First, protect, then publish. This point I have already explained. Kar liya hai. Many research scholars and uh, uh, college professors unknowingly do their mis mistake. First, they publish. Like, uh, unko paper they publish their work. 
देन दो सेम वर्क दे फाइल फॉर द पेटेंट तो उस केस में क्या होता है जिस डेट को आपने फाइल किया दैट इज कंसिडर एज ए प्रायोरिटी डेट उस डेट हाँ जी पहले जितने भी पेटेंट लिटरेचर और नॉन पेटेंट लिटरेचर दे ऑल कंसिडर एज ए प्रायर आर्ट सो योर पब्लिकेशन वर्क इज कंसिडर एज ए प्रायर आर्ट एंड यू यू वॉन्ट गेट द पेटेंट सो ऑलवेज फर्स्ट प्रोटेक्ट आप पेटेंट फाइल कीजिए प्रोविजनल फाइल कीजिए यू विल गेट द प्रायरिटी देन आफ्टर दैट यू पब्लिश योर वर्क फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट डे ऑनवर्ड यू कैन पब्लिश एनी डे नो इशू एट ऑल बिकॉज वो प्रायरिटी डेट आपकी रजिस्टर हो गई है राइट आर टेरिटोरियल रजिस्ट्रेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड लिमिटेड टू द बाउंड्री ऑफ कंट्री एंड सोवेरियन अथॉरिटी राइट आर टेरिटोरियल आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन रजिस्ट्रेशन इज डन बाई सोवेरियन अथॉरिटी लाइक इन आवर कंट्री द गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड all the ip rights are uh, i uh, office, uh, all the ip rights are granted by the office of cgpdtm controller general of patent design and trademark rights for rights for limited period of time i already mentioned the time period for all the ip rights no automatic relief means need to file infringement suit if you find someone like in patent you got the 20 year of exclusive rights and in this in this duration you find someone is copying your idea without your permission then you need to file Infringement suit. Court says suo moto cognizance never take. You you require to file the court case. Renewal fee to be paid for some IPR. Like in patent case, if you are doing the commercialization, then every year you need to pay the small fee to the Indian Patent Office uh, for the renewal fee. Appointment of patent agent is not compulsory. Applicant can sign the document and file himself. Actually, for filing the patent, there are two way. As an individual, you can directly file the patent. or you can take the services of patent agent he will do the all the paperwork he will uh, draft your patent application but uh, uh, once you learn the uh, this uh, step you can directly file online on the ip india website patent application so in the nuts cell uh, i explained all the ip right again the patent is uh, granted for the invention it is given for the product or process uh, invention should be novel it should be inventive and industrial applicability and term for protection is the 20 year design design is given for the shape 2d or 3d shape of any product is it, it judged slowly solely by the eye novel it should be novel in nature and term for protection is the 10 plus 5 year but total 15 year trademark word logo symbol and sound it distinguishes goods and generate goodwill it should be distinctive not deceptively similar मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट ऐसा नहीं किसी कंपनी का ट्रेडमार्क है टाटा कंपनी है ट्रेडमार्क तो नो अदर कंपनी कैन टी ए टी ए एक एस वर्ड एड एड कर लिया बिकॉज इट इज नॉट डिस्टिंगटिव वे सिमिलर है उसके काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर तो इंडियन ट्रेडमार्क ऑफिस नेवर ग्रांड द ट्रेडमार्क ऑफ दैट कंपनी टर्म फॉर प्रोटेक्शन इज द इनिशियली फॉर टेन ईयर देन आफ्टर रिन्यूवल इन डेफिनेट पीरियड ऑफ दैट टाइम कॉपी राइट for uh, it is given for the original work any book drama painting song etc uh, it should be original for the original work and different for the different work sabke liye term for protection is different for literary work uh, term for protection under the copyright is your lifetime your lifetime plus 60 year that is the term for protection for the literary work if you are writing any book to uska jo agar aapne copyright karwa rakha hai copyright registration hai then you will get the your lifetime plus 60 year that is the term for protection under the copyright next is the geographical indication it identifies a product then it is the community right origin names and the geographical indication the term for protection is the 10 year then after renewal it is for indefinite period now next is the career opportunities in the field of ipr like i mentioned uh you will get the legal protection so Uh, if someone is uh, copying your idea you are filing the infringement suit so you need to hire the ip lawyers so first and lucrative job or uh, job opportunity is the ip lawyers there are uh, specialists in the field of trademark there are specialists in the field of patent uh, who file uh, who uh, who who file or, or fight all the cases in the court second uh, career opportunity is the patent agent like patent uh, filing the patent is the filing and drafting of patent required a certain skill so you can become the patent agent uh, third career opportunity uh, you can join the uh, ip office as a patent examiner it is a level 10 gazetted post and uh, 
fourth career opportunity like uh, in india we don't have a ip ip ecosystem like the developed country then uh, western countries have very sound or sound ip ecosystem to wahan pe har cheez ka ipr hota hai to wahan ka jo work hai wo outsource there are many companies who are doing outsource ip work in india so you can join that company or freelancing you can do that work so uh, thank you so much i explained briefly about ip rights if anyone have any kind of doubt they can ask me anyone having any doubt you can ask freely you can raise your hand okay then thank you sir thank you for this informative session i now i would like to invite mr jatin gaur to deliver the vote of thanks when the going gets tough the tough gets going after all the glitches and difficulties we are still able to complete this enlightening session good afternoon everyone to one and all present here honorable speaker sir mr sanjay De devra respected founder director professor ak tandon executive director professor y d god deputy director professor c r jagga and professor rajiv sharma and all the participant it is such an honor for me to get an opportunity to thank all the dignitaries on the behalf of iic cell bbit i would like to express my gratitude to all the esteemed delegates of impact lecture series organized by iic cell bbit sponsored by ministry of education innovation cell government of india for their presence and contribution to make this lecture a great success i would like to extend my gratitude to our honorable speaker mr sanjay devra to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event thank you sir for inspiring us and enlightening us with the knowledge in the field of ipr and patent filing 